and we're rolling. Okay, hello. Um, this is my first ever YouTube video, and I'm just gonna be showing you how. Oh shit! I'm just gonna be showing you how I jazz my face up for a wee day in lockdown. Now, this is not something I do every day at all. I probably put makeup on like one out of the seven days of the week and I am not a professional makeup artist. I am barely even average at makeup. This is just what I do. So I hope you enjoy it. I keep going out of focus. This stuff is tough. So when I'm doing my makeup, the first thing I start with is this wee guy. This is the Glossier Skin Tint. And it's my favourite piece of makeup that I have ever bought. It's like a more of a tinted moisturiser. And I use that instead of a foundation. And I will never go back. I love it so much. And it's so good because it's such light coverage. It basically um, matches my skin tone all year round. So you only have to buy one to last you a year. And you just shove it on with... Oh. I just shove it on with this brush. I don't know who this is by, I just found it in my makeup bag and used it for years. And I've tried to wash it as much as I can, but I'm a bit lazy. Um, yeah, so I just shove this on and I don't need to be too precise because, because it's so light. If I miss an area, it's not like the worst thing in the world. It doesn't, it's hard to make this um, tinted moisturiser look patchy. Okay, and it's super quick as well. Super easy and quick. Okay. Um, this is really good for me because I used to have such trouble with foundation when I was younger. I'd always, I'd always I keep hitting this to the camera, I'm sorry. Um, I would always have this massive, massive line down here and I would always get my foundation shade wrong. And this is the only foundation or foundation sort of product that doesn't give me lines on my face. I'm just going to do a little bit more and shove it on. Oh. Right. So we've done the base. Now I'm going to move on to this product, which is by Glossier. I'm sorry, you're going to realise that most of my makeup is by Glossier, but I do love them. I think they're such a good brand. Okay, so I'm just going to put this into all the areas that need a bit more coverage. I'll start with under my eyes, the Chanel bags. I actually, do you know what, I, I don't really mind having dark circles. I actually quite like the look of it. I would rather have dark circles than <clears throat> that really, really white concealer under my eyes because for me it just like my eyes are already quite small and it just closes up my eye shape even more so I kind of like only put a little bit under my eyes and then I'm gonna get my spots I'm not sure if you can see it on camera I kind of get spots on my cheeks and it's a lot better than it used to be my skin used to be pretty problematic when I was younger um, but I've now like found a routine that works for me and obviously because I've gone through puberty that kind of like levels up your skin quite a bit as well and I have two like active spots here and I think this is because I'm ovulating at the moment that I'm having a few little breakouts also my skin scars super easily which used to be really, really annoying, but um, because I'm not having as many breakouts anymore, it's not a bad thing. Okay, so that's how I've done the base. I am going to go on to my eyebrows. Now, I am so bad with my eyebrows, I do not take care of them at all. I probably pluck them like once a year. So this is what I'm using. It's again by Glossier. It's the boy brow. And I'm just going to use it to just... Brush my eyebrows a bit, give them a bit of colour, and that's basically all I do. Okay, oh, so next I am going to do my eyes. Now this is the only, 
makeup skill that I think I'm actually good at um, and that's eyeliner and I'm not sure if it's because of the shape of my own eyes or because I'm just the queen of eyeliner but I'll zoom you in and show you what I do. This is kind of hard so it won't be the best like this but um, I just go along my actual eye line and I just do a little flick. So I'm not sure if you can see but I'm not actually coming from the middle. It might be easier with this eye. This is my bad hand by the way so this one might be a bit wonky but so I just go from there. So I'm just doing a line from there and then I just go to meet it from kind of the end of my eye. Come on Ava. Okay so I've done my eyeliner. Mm, I love this stuff. Oh! I'm so bad at this. My eyeliner is by Benefit and this is one of the two products in my everyday makeup routine that is not cruelty free and I'm just using it until it runs out and then when it's finished I'll go and buy a cruelty free version because um, there's there's no need to buy non cruelty free makeup right so next I'm going to use the Glossier Play it's like a, a glitter now this product is actually being discontinued which makes me sad and happy at the same time. Sad because I love it so much and um, happy because the reason it's being discontinued is because it's non-biodegradable glitter. So yeah, it's not a sustainable product but it's really pretty. Hopefully they come out with like a replacement of it that is sustainable. It kind of makes it look like your eyelids have been kissed by wee fairies or something. Okay, so we've done that. Next, I'm gonna do mascara. I don't really care that much about mascara. Um, I'll go without it some days when I'm doing my makeup and I'll wear it other days. So this is what I'm gonna use, Too Faced Mascara. It's called Better Than Sex, kinky. And I'm gonna use my wee mirror for this because it's too hard to do this in the viewfinder. Oh. This is a really good product, but it's not waterproof and I'm not very good with non-waterproof um, mascaras because I have been told that I naturally have really sweaty eyes. So like whenever like a non-waterproof makeup goes on my eyes, it just like slides down within an hour and it looks like I've been crying um, and I do get that with this product. But I know they have like a waterproof version, so I'm just going to go for that instead. No oh, bloody hell, I've forgotten a part. Okay, right, I'm going to continue with my mascara in a minute, but on my waterline, I like to put on a little white eyeliner. And it just makes your eyes look a lot wider. And sometimes I forget to put this on until after my mascara and then it's really difficult and smudgy and stuff. So I'm just going to do it before I do my bottom lash. I'm literally just going here. Get my waterline. It's basically extending your eyeball. Which in turn makes your eyes look bigger. And more wide awake. You know we all want that extended eyeball look. I also think it looks quite cute and doll-like actually. Right okay, so I've done that. I'm glad I remembered to do that before I did my bottom lashes. And now I'm gonna go back in with the mascara and just get my bottom lashes. Okay, I don't like too much bottom mascara, just a little bit. I used to, oh god have I blinked? No. I used to love um, mascara so much and I used to put on like five layers sometimes um, and get those really like spider leg looking lashes and I actually still quite like the look of that but um, it doesn't suit me when I wear my eyeliner and I don't really go anywhere without my eyeliner nowadays. Okay so we've done the eyes, 
And now I'm going to go in for the lips. Right, this is what I use on my lips. So this is the second culprit in my everyday makeup routine that's not cruelty free. This is by MAC and I have had this for like two years. It's definitely out of date by now. Um, but I'm just going to wait until I finish and then I'm going to get something like this because I just love the colour. I'm going to just kind of go over the line of my lips. Um, dun, 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 dun. And I don't overline them because it doesn't suit me. I wish it did. Because um, some people it looks so nice on them. but And then I just kind of go in to like my whole lip. And it's not much of a difference but I just think it's quite a nice subtle colour. And then I'm going to put on this lip balm by Glossier and it's in the flavour birthday cake and oh my goodness it's the nicest smelling thing I've ever smelled in my life um, and it's just I find it a good replacement for lip gloss because I find lip gloss extremely impractical this feels nice gives a similar look and it's good for your lips okay so that's the lips done now what do I do mm, I do blush when I have time. So th this is so messy. This is my Glossier Cloud Paint in the colour Storm. Um, and I have to put on a really tiny bit because it's really easy to kind of go too far with this. Um, so I'm just squeezing a tiny, tiny bit onto my hand. It lasts a long time. It really does. Um, now this is probably the hardest part for me to get right in my makeup. I'm just going to dab on a tiny bit, this wee hair back, and just do one, two, three, oh, and then slap it into my face. <laughs> and I have to do it quite frantically because it dries in quickly and I don't want it to dry all patchy. Slap, slap, slap the face. I don't think it looks extremely natural, but I like it. And then here. <gasps> it's so easy for this to make me look like a clown. I'm gonna watch back the footage and I'm gonna have clown vibes. Okay, I think I've done quite well. And then I'm left with this on my hand, which is always annoying. And I can't be bothered to go and clean it up, so I'm just gonna rub it in, give myself a red hand. And now I am going to go on to powder. I only do a tiny bit of powder. Um, I use this by the Queen Rihanna. Um, and it's just translucent. So it's not actually a colour. I'm just going to pop it underneath my eyes. To try and combat that sweaty eye syndrome. Under the other eye. A little bit here. A little bit down here. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to put on. I'm questioning myself, am I done? Yeah, I think that's me pretty much done. I'll take down my hair. And zoom you in a bit. But this is just what the finished product looks like. It's nothing too fancy. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.